In the vibrant streets of the Bronx, where the city stirs from its slumber, we find ourselves in 1931. Jay Leda, an avant-garde filmmaker, stands at the crossroads of art and reality. His lens captures the pulse of New York, the shoe shiners, fruit vendors, and fleeting moments that weave the fabric of existence. This isn't just a film. It's a tapestry of sights and sounds, inviting us to see beyond the mundane. Welcome to a Bronx morning. In 2004, the Library of Congress, an esteemed guardian of cultural heritage, welcomed a Bronx morning into its hallowed halls. Why? Because this film, birthed in 1931 by Jay Leda, isn't just celluloid. It's a time capsule, a glimpse into a vibrant borough waking up to life. And so, with reverence, they declared it culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Imagine New York City in 1931, the streets alive with people, stories, and secrets. Jay Leda, a filmmaker, decided to capture this vibrant world without using spoken words. While other movies chattered away, Leda's camera danced through the Bronx, showing us life as it really was. You see, back then, sound recording technology was like a clumsy giant. It tied filmmakers to stiff, unmoving cameras in stuffy studios. But later, he rebelled. His lens roamed freely, capturing movement, the way people walked, the light on fire escapes, the shadows that whispered secrets. So, a Bronx morning became a silent symphony, a love letter to the city. And guess what? It wasn't a step backward. It was a leap forward. Leda showed us that sometimes, silence speaks louder than words. Life in the Bronx in 1931 was marked by a mix of cultural vibrancy and economic hardship. The Bronx was a melting pot of various immigrant communities, particularly Eastern European Jews and Italians, who brought their unique cultures, languages, and traditions to the borough. The area was also home to a significant African-American population, which contributed to the rich cultural tapestry of the Bronx during this period. The Great Depression had a profound impact on the Bronx, as it did on the rest of the United States. Economic strife was common, with many residents facing unemployment or underemployment. Despite these challenges, the community was resilient, with families often supporting each other through difficult times. Housing conditions varied, but many lived in tenement buildings, which were often overcrowded and lacked basic amenities. Public works and infrastructure projects were underway as part of the New Deal policies, which aimed to provide employment and improve living conditions. The Bronx also had a vibrant street life, with markets, street vendors, and local businesses serving the needs of the community. Children played in the streets, and neighbors gathered to socialize and share news. Despite the economic difficulties, there was a sense of community and solidarity among the residents. For entertainment, people frequented local theaters, dance halls, and speakeasies, where they could enjoy music, dancing, and socializing. The Harlem Renaissance, not far from the Bronx, was in full swing, bringing a surge in artistic 
and literary achievements that also influenced the Bronx's cultural scene. Overall, life in the Bronx in 1931 was a study in contrasts, struggle and resilience, poverty and community, hardship and hope. It was a time when the character of the borough was forged in the fires of adversity, creating a strong and enduring community spirit that would define the Bronx for generations to come. Now, please enjoy the rest of the film and thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey back in time for a glimpse of history, not only of the Bronx, but of New York and America, if you love history as much as I do. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot. And I hope something good happens to you today. Peace.